Ladies and gentlemen, I'm Jimmy Lennon Jr. My pleasure to welcome you to the kickoff press conference for the inaugural PBC pay-per-view boxing event on Prime Video. Now this star-studded event takes place on Saturday, March the 30th, at the big show at the T-Mobile Arena in Las Vegas, Nevada, with a first pay-per-view event starting at 8 p.m. Eastern Time, that's 5 p.m. Pacific, and is brought to you by DraftKings Sportsbook. Now, the tickets pre-sale for this event is starting right now. If you want the very best seats, you can go to AXS.com, use the code PBC. That will go on until tonight at 10 p.m. Pacific Time. The public sales begin tomorrow, starting in the morning, 10 a.m. Pacific time. Once again, that is through AXS.com. The pay-per-view quadruple header, the very first PBC pay-per-view available through Prime Video, since the parties announced a landmark multi-year deal in December, and we want to make this very clear to you. I've been asked to try to make this very clear, that in addition to the pay-per-view available for purchase on Prime Video, Regardless of Prime membership, you could be a member or not, you can still purchase this fight on Prime. And you can also still purchase this fight through traditional cable and satellite outlets. This event is brought to you by TGB Promotions, sponsored by DraftKings Sportsbook. The main event is promoted in association with No Limit Boxing. With that being said, it is my pleasure to introduce to you a man who's going to tell us a little bit more about the relationship with PBC and Prime, a little bit more about this fight. He is the longtime force of boxing, the president of TGB, Tom Brown. Well, thank you, Jimmy. Good afternoon. Welcome, everyone. As Jimmy said, this marks the first event of the new partnership with, with Amazon Prime. We're very excited to provide both pay-per-view and non-pay-per-view boxing programming to the service. We'll be detailing the 2024 schedule in the coming weeks and look forward to continue to bring the biggest and best fights to a, a new expanded audience. And I want to say joining us today from Amazon is Steve Carey, Principal of Sports Partnerships for Prime Video and a key player in making this partnership a reality. Steve, we thank you for your support and we look forward to working together for many years to come. Uh, Keith one time Thurman is the former unified welterweight champion. His only loss in his record was a split decision to the legendary Manny Pacquiao. And although Keith might be moving up in weight for this fight, I want to make one thing clear. Keith is a big man. His entire amateur career was at 154 and 152 pounds. He dropped down to start his professional career. You look at the likes of uh, Floyd Mayweather, Oscar De La Hoya, they turned pro and won their first titles at 130 pounds. Uh, Terrence Crawford turned pro and won his first title at 135, and they worked their way up to 147. Keith went down to 147 and spent his entire career until this fight at that weight. And as Jimmy said, the main event is co-promoted by my good friends Matt and George Rose with No Limit Boxing. Tim Zhu is the reigning, undefeated junior middleweight champion. This dream is about to come true, headlining a massive prime video pay-per-view event from the T-Mobile Arena in his Las Vegas debut. I was there that night back in 1995 when his father made his professional debut in Las Vegas, his debut, Vegas debut, at the MGM Grand when he knocked out Jake the Snake Rodriguez to win his first world title. We had the uh, Relish Brothers headlining that card. He's a rising star in our sport, he just keeps getting better and better with each fight. He's already got a country behind him. So now it's time for Tim Zhu USA. It's going to be a great fight. And the winner of this fight will be considered the best 154 pounder in the world. Now, they call it a co-main event. We can take the word co out of this fight. This fight is a main event in its own right with Rowley defending his WBA world title against the all-action Mexican star Pitbull Cruz. And I'm sure uh, Rowley will get things going here in a minute. Also on the, uh, the pay-per-view card, quickly we have Harris Landy, the American Dream Lara, the oldest world champion today. He'll be defending his title at the number one ranked contender against uh, Michael 
Zarafa, and then opening the pay-per-view portion of our show is Sebastian Fandora taking on Sergei Bohacek for the vacant WBC super welterweight title. And let me tell you, this fight has fight of the year written all over it. So you don't want to miss it. You want to be there, be there early for this fight. Looking forward to seeing you out in Las Vegas on March 30th. Thank you. Thank you, Tom. Now let's bring our fighters to the podium, say a few opening words. We'll have Q&A following each of them speaking at the end of the press conference. Recently approved by the WBC as a full world championship, our opening pay-per-view event is a world championship title. The 12 rounds for the vacant WBC super welterweight world title, Sebastian Fundora versus Serhi Bohachuk. First, we'd like to hear from a gentleman with a record of 23 and 1 with 23 knockouts, all knockouts. He's a winner of five straight since his first setback, and he has earned his place to, for the world title, challenge for the world title on March the 30th. He's a 28 year old from Ukraine, now residing in Los Angeles. He'll be making his first attempt at a world title. Please welcome to the microphone, Serhi Bohachuk. Hi guys, I know my opponent, Sebastian, he's known me too. I have experience with sparring with him a long time before. I know this serious guy, this serious opponent for me. It's maybe best fight in my career. I know I'm good ready before this fight. And he, I think he too be good ready because he know me too. And I show my fans, I show, I show Journalist, very interesting, very strong fight. And his opponent with a record of 20 wins, one loss, and one draw, with 13 knockouts. At five foot six, sitting down, he stands at six foot six on his feet. But he's not just known for his length. He is also known as an all-action fighter in numerous memorable fights, including a 2022 Fight of the Year win over Erickson Lara. Please welcome the in towering Inferno, Sebastian Fundora. Okay. Good afternoon, everybody. Uh, I'd like to thank Kyle Heyman, I'd like to thank Samson Promotions, I'd like to thank TGB. Um, I'd also like to thank Amazon Prime Video for putting me on this platform uh, and WBC for put, giving me this opportunity to fight for this title. Um, you know, last time I came out, I had my first loss back in April, but you know what? We've been training for a year, we've been waiting for this moment uh, to fight for this world title. Um, you know, I'm just ready to do everything I can do to win this title. And of course, like Sir, he said, we know each other and we're here to give the fans a great fight. Well, we not only open with a world title attraction, our second fight of the night is also a world title attraction. 12 rounds for the WBA Middleweight World Championship. This is Erislandi Lara versus Michael Zarafa. Right now, we're going to hear from the champion. His record, 29 wins, 3 losses, and 3 draws with 17 knockouts. He's a two-division world champion, a Cuban star now residing in Las Vegas. As Tom mentioned, he's the boxing's oldest current reigning world champion, but he is fresh. He won the middleweight world title. He defended it successfully with a knockout, and he is here with us today. Let's welcome him, the current reigning WBA middleweight champion of the world, Erislandi, the American dream, Lara. Buenas tardes a todos. Quiero darle las gracias a PBC, a Amazon Prime, por tenerme de regreso Voy a darme la oportunidad de estar de regreso ahora el 30 de marzo y vamos a estar listos para la pelea frente, no sé cómo se llama, a Serafa. Vamos a estar listos para Serafa y va a ser lo mejor de uno. Gracias, saludos. Good afternoon, everyone. 
Good afternoon, everyone. Uh, first of all, I would like to thank PVC and Amazon Prime Video for giving me this opportunity. And I can promise you I'm going to be ready for Serafa. You're going to see a great fight on March 30th. Thank you very much. Thank you, Edislandi. Thank you, Martin, for interpreting for us. We'll see you a little bit later as well. Michael Zarafa not here. He is training in, uh, in Australia, but make uh, no question about it. He is excited uh, for this opportunity. He is ready. He is also confident that he will win this fight and become the new world champion. I uh, we'll also want to remind you, just to make it very clear, the ticket pre-sales are today. Ends at 10 p.m. AXS.com. PBC is the code. If you want the pre-sale tickets, it ends tonight at 10 p.m. Pacific time. Our third world championship attraction, the co-main event of the evening, and as Tom Brown said, it could be the main event in any, in any fight card, uh, and it, this is truly one of our main events. Uh, Rolando Roli Romero versus Isaac Pitbull Cruz for the WBA Super Lightweight Championship of the World. First, we'll hear from the challenger. His record 25, 2, and 1 with 17 knockouts. He's established himself as being one of the most exciting fighters in the world today and very popular as well. He gave Javante Davis fits over 12 rounds, and he plans to do the same on March 30th and even more, bring back the title to Mexico. Please welcome Isak Pitbull Cruz. <laughs> Hola, ¿qué tal? Buenas tardes. Antes que nada, quiero darle las gracias a Dios por esta oportunidad. A PBC, Amazon Prime Video, a Shanji, Bonsamani, Pacquiao Promotion por esta, por esta gran oportunidad. A Rolly Romero por tomarnos en cuenta. A Luisito de Cubas. Y bueno, nos estamos preparando muy bien y no vamos a desaprovechar esta oportunidad. Muchas gracias. Uh, thank you all so much for being here. I would first of all like to thank PBC, Amazon Prime Video, Luis de Cuba, Strong Gibbons, Manny Pacquiao Promotions, and everyone that's making this fight possible. Rolly Romero as well for making it happen. And you know, we'll be, we'll be happy to give out a show on March 30th. You're gonna see a great show. Yeah. All right, thank you very much. His opponent is the defending world champion. His record 15 and one with 13 knockouts. He has it all. He has speed. He has agility, he has power, and he has the title. He won the title with TKO in his last fight over Ismael Barroso in May. Please welcome the WBA super lightweight champion of the world, Rolando Roli Romero. How's everybody doing? Uh, I'm just blessed to be kicking off Amazon Prime. I want to thank my manager, Louis DeCuba Jr. and Al Heyman and the Mayweather Promotions team, of course. Thank you. We'll get a chance to hear more from all of these fighters as we have the Q&A following each of their opening comments. PBC pay-per-view on Prime Video main event, 12 rounds of boxing in a super welterweight, very special attraction brought to you by TGB Promotions in association with No Limit Boxing. Let's invite our fighters to the podium at this time. First, with a record of 24-0 with 17 knockouts. Indeed, he is undefeated and joining us from Sydney, Australia. He's the son of Hall of Famer Kostya Zhu. He comes off a red-hot 2023. Three big wins, keeping his record undefeated. Tony Harrison, Brian Mendoza, Carlos Ocampo, and he wants to start the year in a big way in this fight headlining. He's a rising star, undefeated, reigning WBO, 154-pound champion of the world, the soul taker, Tim Zhu. Um, just want to say what a blessing it is to be here. Um, coming here to America, 15-hour flight, it's, it's, it's always a, a long, long road. Um, I just want to thank Amazon Prime, PBC, uh, my team at No Limit, uh, my team from, from, from everyone around me for, for getting this done. Uh, it's been a long time in the process. Uh, for me, I like to stay active, I like to fight. And uh, as soon as my fight finished with Mendoza, I was bugging. I was like, I need the next one, I need the next one. And it was months and months in the making. Um, well, we finally got an opponent and we got Keith Thurman and I was, I was astonished. I was, 
It was like a dream come true, like a little kid uh, just received a little present from, from Santa Claus. It was, it was a, such a big moment uh, to be able to head to Vegas, a lifelong dream, um, and to be fighting two-time world champion Keith Thurman. Uh, it was even better. Um, I know what he is, I know what he's done, but I think that the time has come for him. And uh, he's done what he's done, but now it's now it's going to be a different era. This is the Tim the, the Tim Zhu era, and uh, I'm planning on not just to to just beat Keith Thurman, but I'm planning to make a such a spectacle that that he's never seen before. Uh, 2019, I sparred Manny Pacquiao in preparation for Keith Thurman, so I know I've studied and I've looked over him throughout the years, and and uh, I had to I had to imitate Keith Thurman for Pacquiao in a certain way, so I know him back to front. Um, but yeah, this fight, I'm an, I'm an old, old school throwback fighter, and that's what I plan to bring to this American audience, to the American stage, is I want to stay active. I want the big names. Like once I'm done with Thurman, I want Spence, Crawford, I want, I want all those names, and, and this is the start of something special, and uh, thank you to everyone in attendance, and uh, again, welcome to the Team Zoo era. His opponent holds a record of 30 wins, one loss, with 22 wins coming by way of knockout. Hailing from Clearwater, Florida, he is truly one of the great welterweights of our generation. His wins include wins over Sean Porter, Mario Barrios, Robert Guerrero, Danny Garcia. He lost, as Tom Brown said, a very close decision to the great Manny Pacquiao. Please welcome the former unified welterweight champion of the world, Keith, one time Thurman. What's up, fight fans? You already know what time it is. It's your boy, Keith Thurman, in the building, okay? Man, it's been a long time coming. Did you miss me? Because I missed you, okay? Look, man, what I've done in this beautiful sport of boxing is nothing new. And I'm looking forward to continuing my legacy with this fight March 30th. Just many blessings. Thank you so much to PBC, to Amazon Prime Video. Once again, I get to kick off a major event with all these amazing athletes and fighters to the left and right of me. This is what boxing is about. Action, action, action. World class. This boy's coming from Australia. I love something new. I don't even know what you do. I just know they say you come from down under. And I am trying to put you under, mate. Okay? So, you know, Tim Zhu, he's watched tape. He's been in there with Manny. He's seen certain things. But I know... He might have signed that contract, but boy, you don't know what you just did, boy. Ooh wee! Mm. Mm. Bitter for you and sweet for me. Mm. Y'all don't understand, man. He's he's waiting. Fighters anticipating. Man, nobody has waited to perform like Keith Thurman. Nobody's been waiting for that phone call like Keith Thurman. Nobody wants to shut you haters up like Keith Thurman. So you guys, man, fight fans, you already heard. Pre-sale tickets on sale today. Get them, got them good, let's go, baby. Be in the building, T-Mobile Arena, March 30th. Thurman versus Zoo is very simple. You're gonna hear one sound and one sound only. And that's boom, boom, boom. All right, one time Thurman. Our fighters have microphones at their tables in front of you. We are going to uh, ask some Q&A questions at this time. We're gonna start with our first world title attraction, the vacant WBC super welterweight world title. Serhii Bohachuk, for you, what does it mean to you to have your first fight for a world title and be representing your homeland of Ukraine? No, it's my first title fight. It's a big fight for me. It's a big fight for my life. It's the best fight for my life. 
I'm be ready for this fight 100%, 101%, and I have serious, um, I have serious opponent, very serious. I know his, I have experience, I have sparring with him. I know who is there. I, I understand I need to be ready 100, 101% before this fight. I'm be ready, I show interest, I show good fight. Tom Brown said it has a fight of the year candidate written all over it, and let me turn to your opponent. Sebastian, um, you talked a little bit about your setback in your last fight. What have you learned from, from this setback uh, that you plan to bring to this fight? How, how have you changed? What's your mentality for this fight? Um, honestly, I don't think I learned anything. It was more of a reminder. You know, you can't mess around in this sport. You know, I fell asleep for a second, and I paid for it. But you know what? I had a year to regroup and, and, and start training again and, and do everything right. And, you know, God gave me this opportunity to, to fight for this title, you know, something we've been planning for. And, and you know, we got it, and, and I'm going to show up. <laughs> now, you've agreed to take on a fighter with 23 knockouts and his 23 wins. Does that give you extra concern to be cautious or, or change your approach? You know, um, my last fight, this guy was a big hitter. The fight before that, that guy was a big hitter. I only fight the best in 154, you know? Um, if I have to fight Tim soon next, it'll be great. Uh, whoever, whoever they put me in front of, I want, you know? Uh, I want to be a one, the, the best 154, you know? Right now, you could say Tim is, but uh, maybe later on we'll get that fight and it'll be good, you know? And just a quick congratulations. You have a, another world champion in your family. Your sister, Gabriela, won it. What would it mean for you to have... Your family, they have two world titles belts are strapped around you. Everybody keeps telling me there's, a, there's never been a brother-sister duo, a world champion duo at the same time. So uh, I think it's going to be historical. All right. Well, congratulations to, uh, to Gabriela. Best wishes to both of you fighters. Um, at this time, we have a question for following up with our WBA middleweight world champion here who is taking on the number one ranked WBA middleweight opponent. For Erislandi Lada, question for you. As boxing's oldest reigning world champion, what do you hope to prove against a fighter who is nearly 10 years younger than you? Erislandi, sos el campeón mundial más veterano de la actualidad en el boxeo. Tu oponente tiene 10 años menos. ¿Qué tipo de prueba crees que esta va a ser para ti? ¿Qué tenés que probar por ti mismo? Bueno, primero que todo, este, sí, mi oponente es un boxeador más joven que yo, pero para mí no significa nada, ya que yo me siento igual, como, casi no lo mismo, ¿no? pero me siento, gracias a Dios, me siento bien, me siento fuerte, y con la preparación que he tenido durante años y mi condición física y mi, y mi experiencia en el boxeo, creo que no va a tener ningún tipo de problema con él. Uh, look, I feel good, I feel strong, and I don't really feel like I need... Uh, to prove much of anything at all. All I need to do is to show, showcase who I am, and I don't think I'm going to have much trouble with him to begin with. Erislandi, I noticed that since you've moved up to middleweight, you've had two knockouts in a row to win the title and then to defend it. Um, have you added more power to your arsenal, and are folks um, underestimating your power? Bueno, has tenido dos knockouts recientemente, uno para ganar tu título, el otro para defenderlo. ¿Sentís que has, le has agregado poder a tu arsenal y que también quizás eh, están subestimando tu potencia? Este, yo creo que la, solamente la experiencia, la experiencia en el boxeo y, y las grandes peleas que he tenido y la posibilidad del knockout, tú sabes, yo nunca he salido a buscar un knockout, pero gracias a Dios se me ha dado la oportunidad y he terminado bien. Uh, it, it all comes down to the experience I've gained from boxing, and I've been fortunate to be able to go out there, get some knockouts, and that's what I've been doing. Thank you very much. 12 rounds, our second fight. 12 rounds for the WBA Middleweight Championship of the World, Erislandi Lara versus Michael Zarafa. Let's move to our co-main event at this time, another world title fight, WBA Super Lightweight World Championship. Let's speak with our challenger first, Isak Pitbull Cruz. Isak, in your first fight against Javante Davis, your first world title attempt, you gave him fits for 12 rounds. What did you learn from that experience and what from that will you bring into your second attempt for a world title? Isak, when you fought against Javante Davis, you had to suffer a lot during 12 rounds. 
¿Qué, ¿Qué aprendiste de esa pelea y qué pensás emplear de esas lecciones para esta pelea por el título? Eh, sí, nos dejó un, un gran aprendizaje aquella noche con, con Tank, pero hemos ido a trabajando eh, pelea tras pelea y bueno, que ha, lo mejor es que ha sido arriba del ring y por eso nos hemos ganado nuevamente una segunda oportunidad. Uh, you know, we, we did bring it to Tank, but we have kept working time after time, fight after fight, and that's how we have earned a second chance, a second opportunity to go for the title once again. Now you are ranked one of boxing's top lightweights in the world, yet this fight you'll be moving up to 140 pounds. Is your body telling you to move up or you just had to take this opportunity to fight for a title? Ahora que vas a subir a las 140 libras, ¿sentís que era tu cuerpo el que te pedía subir de peso o es algo que dijiste, tengo esta oportunidad por el título y quiero subir por el cinturón? Eh, pues son ambas cosas, creo que estamos preparados para, para sacar avante este compromiso y bueno, seguir demostrando por qué somos uno de los mejores del mundo y que somos mexicanos. Uh, look, I just feel like I'm ready for this challenge. I want to show everybody that I'm one of the best in the world and that uh, I'm one proud Mexican fighter that, that can do anything. Yeah, no question, you have gathered boxing fans from around the world. But what would it mean to your Mexican fans, your homeland, to win this world title? ¿Qué significaría para la gente mexicana el verte ganar este título mundial? Pues es algo también que la gente quiere ver, por lo cual yo me estoy preparando para arrebatarle el campeonato del mundo el próximo 30 de, de marzo a Rolly Romero, cueste lo que cueste, y bueno, nos estamos preparando para que el público sea, sea el ganador. I want the fans to be the true winners of the night. That's what I'm preparing for. And that's why I want to go and face Rolly Romero, take the world title away from him, and give the fans what they want to see. All right, let's speak to the world champion at this time. Now, Rolly, you said that you want to become Prime Video's very first superstar. What must you do on March 30th in order to earn that? Well, to become the superstar of Prime Video, I just gotta knock him out, right? It must come by knockout. Has to be a knockout. Okay, well, let me ask you this. The current odds are very close, but they have you a slight underdog. Does that motivate you even more? Not really, odds are just statistics. And uh, they're looking at it like this. He lost to Javante, what, four fights ago? And I've only had one fight since then, so and he's had, what, three or four, something like that. So it's just statistics. And let's just say it like this. I was a huge underdog when I fought Tank, and 80% uh, of people bet on me, so I'm gonna bet on Roly. All right, that's your typical confidence. Can you explain what you meant? I read a quote that you meant, that you said it's gonna be Roly versus a Chihuahua. What, what do you mean by that? Uh, chihuahua, Poodle. Uh, he kind of looks like a pug right now, so. Yeah, he's a little fat right now. So, I'm mean, self explanatory. Pitbull, do you understand what he meant by calling you a Chihuahua instead of a, a Pitbull? Bueno, eh, Pitbull, ¿entendés lo que él quiso decir recién? Eh, te llamó de todo, incluyendo Chihuahua. ¿Qué tenés que decir al respecto? Sí, claro, ahorita yo soy un chihuahua, pero el día de la pelea, la, del día de la pelea, él va a ser el verdadero chihuahua. Ahorita toda la gente está riendo, pero el día de la pelea en su casa todos van a estar llorando. Uh, look, I completely understand, but you know what? Let him talk, because in the end, at the end of the fight, he's going to be the true chihuahua, and he's the one that's going to end up crying. We'll see, March 30th, make sure by the pay-per-view. March 30th, Amazon Prime. Don't miss it, the co-main event of the evening, a main event anywhere, 12 rounds of boxing for the WBA Super Lightweight Championship of the World, Rolando Roli Romero versus Aesop Pitbull Cruz. It is time to move to our fighters Q&A with our main event of the evening, brought to you by TGB Promotions and No Limit Boxing, 12 rounds in a super welterweight very special attraction. Let's talk to Tim Zhu at this time first. Tim, I know that working your last three fights in Australia, you are a huge star there. You have transcended the sport of boxing. You are a huge star, period. You've asked for a big stage in the United States. Now you have made it. What do you plan to do to take full advantage of that? I haven't made it. The, the making begins when I beat Thurman. Uh, it was, it's all part of the, the process and 
He's just uh, the first name on the list, and uh, again, this is the takeover for me. Uh, I've also noticed in your fights that you are a very confident risk taker. While waiting for your mandatory attempt at a world title, you took on three very difficult opponents, risked it all. You had a vicious dog bite on your arm that didn't slow you down. You went ahead with the fight. Where does that confidence come from? Again, I, I, I look and aspire to the throwback fighters. You know, I feel like fighters these days in this modern era, they're just a bunch of pussies. That's just, that's just my opinion. The old throwback when I grew up watching uh, in the 2000s, everyone just fought the best, thought the best, and that's, that's what I am. A dog bite, at the end of the day, who cares? That's why for me it was just, I want to fight, and I want to fight the big names, and uh, Thurman's the big name, and he's the, the man that I'm after now. He, he is indeed a big name, and this is a, a great opportunity for you to, to take on a legend in the ring. Um, and what does it mean to you? Uh, for the opportunity to build on your legacy and in the legacy of your family name, your Hall of Fame father. Yeah, for sure. Like, uh, my goal one day is, to, is for the last name to be the greatest boxing family ever lived, you know, and it's, it's big aspirations, but again, uh, I caught it here and we'll see how far we can get. Very good. Well, best to you. Uh, you have expressed um, respect for Keith Thurman. Let's turn to Keith at this time. Um, as I mentioned earlier, one of the great welterweights in our generation. Why are you moving up? Well, you know, there's a lot of things that can be done. Uh, but, you know, moving up is just something that happens in, in boxing. You've seen it, you know, throughout the years. You know, you guys referenced earlier how even Crawford started at a lighter weight. I just love the legacy at 147, and I just think I milked the cow. I got what I got out of the welterweight division. Um, I fell short of greatness on the night against Pacquiao, still one of my most favorite and memorable nights uh, of my life. You know, when I wear red, red, white, and blue in that ring, um, it's not because I'm a patriot of the American flag, but it's because every time Keith Thurman steps into that ring that I'm living out my all-American dream. I've worked for this ever since I was seven years old. Um, I just remember being told that you have what it takes for greatness, boy. You know, stay out of trouble, stay away from the girls, stay off of the drugs, you know, and all these fighters, all these fighters here, every sportsman, they, we know the sacrifices that we make. And no matter how, how tough it is, at the end of the day, those sacrifices, you know, they make us who we are and they're just, they're truly worth it, you know. Anything worth anything in life requires sacrifice. And I've done a lot at 147. I'm a dreamer. I want to do great things at 154. I want to show the world what type of champion is Keith Thurman. I'm the kind of champion like Ali, you put me back in the ring and I'm going to rise back to the top, you know. Uh, that's what this is all about. People have comments, people have suggestions, people come up with their statistics, you know. Uh, but at the end of the day, they're not with Keith Thurman. They're not seeing my grind. They're not in my head. They don't understand my mindset. And that's what March 30th is all about, is just proving to the world that Keith Thurman was, is, and will be forever and ever one of the greatest fighters in the sport of boxing. Does that mean that should you win, you'll search for the title at 154? You know, it, me moving up, I'm just looking for great fights. I've done this in the past. I want great fights. I want great action. Tim Zhu is filling that uh, void right now. He's going to be providing me with the fight that I want. He's providing me with the excitement. He's coming young, undefeated, determined, trying to open up the gates to his new heir, the new generation. But it's my job to close the door shut right in his face. Make him, you know, they don't call him pit bull, but I want him to go tail tuck head down back to his daddy in Australia. I'm sorry, Pops. I'm sorry. The zoo name, I messed up. 
I didn't know he was that bad. So, you know, I mean, this is just, this is boxing. This is my life. I love the adrenaline. Um, I love you. I love you questioning me. I love you questioning me. Why'd you do this? It's now the moment. Are you sure? Are you ready? Do you need a tune-up? Do you want a warm-up? You know? So, I just, I just love it, man. I love, I love everything about this. I love the stage. I love the action. Main event. Unfortunately, the title will not be on the line, but his pride will be, and that's good enough for me. Any response, Tim? You bring that energy, man. I want that energy coming into the fight because uh, when I do, and mark my words, I will knock you out in under 12 rounds. You can try, my man. You can try, but if you're going to get more than energy, you're going to get these hands, baby, all up in your you're gonna, face. You're going to be running. You're going to be running, and I'm going to be catching you like a little gazelle. Your fat feet slow. Oh, man, look, in Australia, you that's see? a small little, that's an island very far away. I did not know flat-footed Mexicans were born in Australia, zoo. <laughs> you wait. Mexican you zoo, wait. what you going to do? I got a Mexican style. Mexican though. zoo. What you gonna I a, do? I got a Mexican style, but Mexican styles are the, one of the greatest styles in the world. So don't be disrespecting Mexican styles. I ain't and lost you no Mexican. Do I your do. research. Watch more tape. Don't be running. Watch more tape if you want to debate. Don't be, don't be running. I have not lost to no flat-footed, don't, slow. Don't be running. Mexicans. Like, okay. Don't, don't be running like a gazelle. You just right? want me to stand there. Don't be Please running. do. Please let's, let me beat you up, Keith. Let's go. Please let me beat you up. Middle of Can the I ring. punch you in the face? Okay, middle of the Can ring. Can I punch you? Please. Middle Please. of the ring. Let's I'll be go. right there, baby. All right. I'll be right let's there. Go. Deal. I won't be hard to find. Beautiful. That's what I want. Don't what I want. miss it. It's the main event of the evening. PBC pay-per-view on Prime. Well, fans, this concludes our press conference for today for the inaugural PBC pay-per-view event available on Prime Video. Once again, Saturday, March 30th, T-Mobile Arena in Las Vegas. Our fighters are going to be here for photo opportunities. Thank you very much for your attendance. And don't forget, tickets are available today. Pre-sale, take it away.